There was a young man I knew a couple of years ago. He was strong, he had a life, lots of friends, a loving girlfriend and parents. On one summer day, we were out near a river when a vicious storm happened. The sky turned pitch black, but the lightning made everything clearly visible for split seconds. The thunder was so strong that it made our heads feel like they were about to explode. Suddenly, he disappeared. I saw him being taken from the ground and I haven't seen him for several months. I was pretty sure that he was dead. But the thing is, no one was looking for him. Not his parents, not his girlfriend. Literally no one. Then one day, he came up to me on a street. He was like himself, yet different at the same time. His eyes were young, but his face wrinkled like he was constantly under a lot of pressure and working too hard for his own good. This is when I figured out what happened to him. He became the half-demon of weather, Planetnik. He was to meddle with weather and fight storms until his death which will probably be cruel and sudden. A tragic fate for such a young person. Strong wind, a soft breeze or rain, occurrences we observe on a daily basis are ruled and personified by Slavic half-demons called Planetnice. They fly on clouds and decide the weather for the day, yet the most challenging of their tasks is fighting the storms. Planetnice were not born half-demons, but became them after death. A rapid death or suicide, mainly by hanging or drowning, might force the soul to become a weather demon. Other legends have it that Planetnice are made from the souls of murdered people or miscarried fetuses. Some people believe that Planetnice are chosen by the fate or gods to serve as wind spirits, in such a case, they are not souls, but living humans who were tasked with minding the weather. If a boy or a young man was chosen to become Planetnik, he was taken into heaven through a rainbow or clouds. He was then not allowed to go back to the world of living ever again. It was supposed to be an honor, but in reality, the boys felt lonely and missed their families. The looks of them are also not concrete. They are most often depicted as tall old men in hats and with wrinkled faces. Yet others depict them as tiny creatures with undistinguishable faces. The tasks of Planet Nietzsche was to steer or drag clouds on their shoulders. They also freeze water and cut ice to create hail. High up in the sky, they load clouds with rainwater and thunder. To give them strength, people throw flour in the wind. And this is what I do whenever even a soft breeze touches my face. I don't know if it reaches him. And even if it doesn't, I hope another young weather demon draws strength from it. But in case it does, I attach my warm thoughts. And believe me or not, there has been no storm ever since I'm friends with a Planetnik. But even if you're not, remember to throw the flower to give them strength to fight the storms. <laughs>